Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of September uh, 17th through the 30th, 2018. Um, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. And remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do. And those of you that would like to book a private reading, um, you can always email tomajtarot at gmail.com. And that information is in the description box below. Okay, so... Part of the situation, we have the Five of Wands, along with the Three of Swords, Page of Cups, Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Six of Coins, and the Seven of Coins. Okay, so part of the matter is that I feel like there could be some sort of temporary break or separation going on um, between you and a loved one. It could have been um, some miscommunication, could have been some uh, an argument. Um, if you're single, I'm seeing this as the person that you're crushing on or the person that you, your love interest, like either you hurt their feelings or they hurt your feelings. Um, and I'm seeing frustration here um, because I feel like the Page of Cups, like someone reached out, someone uh, tried to express themselves or what they were feeling. Um, and then I feel like maybe it wasn't received. So it's almost too maybe like unrequited love. Um, or maybe you just didn't get the response that you wanted. Um, and I'm also getting like some sort of like sexual frustration as well. Being frustrated. Um, I'm seeing a clash of words. I'm seeing miscommunication here. Um, and also this is about having to um, be pushed out of your comfort zone. There's a need to be pushed outside the comfort zone. So I don't know if you need to be pushed outside your comfort zone or your partner or your love interests, or if at work there's something going on where you're being pushed outside of your comfort zone. But I feel like that is like one of the main themes too. It's like frustration because you're having to do something that you don't want to do. Um, there's also something in regards to obligation here. Um, or being passionate. There's passion here. Something in regards to passion and obligation. And a conflict of interest. Um, not people's pride getting in the way of something. Someone's pride is causing conflict. Now, um, here for some of you, you could be dealing with uh, air, such as yourself. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or you could be dealing with fire, Leo, Aries, Sag, or water, um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer here. It's like, I feel that it's nothing like major happening, but there are just like these little things that are going on that are affecting you or irritating you. I feel like there's irritation going on. Like you're frustrated because you aren't being heard. There's a need to compromise or to work together. Um, maybe you're having a hard time connecting with someone uh, at your place of work or the per your partner. Maybe you guys can't seem to agree on some sort of project that you're working on in the house. 
there's a need to start over or a need to rebuild. I feel too that I feel like a tower moment has already passed. I don't know what your tower moment was, but I'm feeling like there was a tower moment that, that already came to pass. So now it's time to rebuild from whatever that tower moment was. The tower moment could have been about finding out someone who you were interested in, finding something out about them, or they found out that you were interested in them, or there was a relationship that you know broke up or whatever that curveball was or that unexpected incident or news was. I feel like that already happened because we, we were getting those tower cards um, last week. So I feel like that energy passed and this is the result. Now is is frustration. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna do this. Now I have to now that that was put out into the open, now I feel forced to say something or to do something. Um or now that this has happened, now I have to work with this person at work. Um, I'm being put in a position at work where I, I have to work with people who I have different ideas with and we have to compromise or have to get along. So I'm feeling like some, there's a need to learn how to compromise and get along or learn how to communicate with each other. I'm feeling like there are two people who are both passionate about the same thing. I feel like two people are moving towards the same direction, but something there's a need to learn how to communicate with each other like you guys have the same goal in common it's a matter of how do we reach this goal or how do we work around these obstacles because i'm also getting like two people who are wanting to be together but there's something blocking them um, it could be a co-worker that's in between and, and, and two because we have the three of swords. For some of you, you could be involved in a love triangle or a third party situation where two people want to be together, but there is an obstacle in a way. Um, and the number three is significant to me um, as well. So that could be... When I, when I see through, although three of cups isn't showing... Um, it's still something like a common, a commonality. Um, sometimes like a sibling or a friend. There's either a sibling, friend, a coworker that's in the way of you two being able to connect. And I feel though that with the six of coins, eventually things are going to balance out. Um, either someone's going to apologize to you or you're going to apologize to them. Someone let their ego or their pride get in the way of expression, self-expression or expressing themselves. Um, it let them get in the way of compromising. But I feel like that is going to pass um, somewhere within that this first, uh, well, the third week of September, I should say, before the fourth week. But yeah, I, I feel like the Six of Coins is you, like peace is being restored or balance is being restored. Um, this broken heart here is being mended here. So you're receiving something of value. Or if you are the one that owes an apology, this is you, uh, you know, giving that person an apology or a, a, an explanation of something uh, of why you felt this way or why you said this or that here. Um, so there will be compromise. And I also feel like if you're in uh, a relationship or whatever, there's going to be reconciliation here. Um, also, yeah, and I'm seeing something like uh, an agreement being made. Like, so it's almost like shaking hands. So I'm whatever that is, it's like agreements being made. And I'm also seeing something about the sun and moon being in harmony so the moon is like the divine feminine and the sun is like divine masculine and so they're finding a way to work together or to compromise um to make things right here there is a need for you to reassess 
your life and the things that you need here um, with the seven of coins. This is having to take a step back, having to rest, having to allow things to play out. I feel like things are progressing slowly um, and you're just kind of trying to figure out how are things going to come together. Um, yeah, you're being asked to assess what you want and need in your life. And two, I'm feeling in regards, maybe because of the image on the picture, it's, it's making me think of someone who is like a single parent and having to compromise with what we can have and what we, uh, a compromise between what is needed and what is just wanted. So your needs and wants are needing to be sorted out. Um, can we afford this? Can we afford that? There's a need to make sure that you're investing into the right things here. Like, I feel like you want to grow. You want to go to the next level uh, in your relationship or you want to go to the, to the next level in your job. There's a need to strategize on how to reach that level. Yeah, I mean, it's about rest. It's about um, rest and, and, and compromise here, reassessment here. Damn it. I'm sorry. I'm saying that because I'm Libra too. Here's another tower. We'll clarify that in a minute. But, um, okay, so I feel like before the month is out, you're moving forward. You're feeling inspired. Um, you're moving forward with something. Like you, there were things that you had to make decisions about. Maybe you need a clarity about a situation. Um, I feel like it's important. I feel like you feel like some sort of heavy responsibility or like the responsibility lies within you or your hands. Something is up to you or someone is placing a heavy responsibility in your hands and making you figure out what to do with it. Um, so this can also apply to work, almost like maybe you were just starting something and now and now uh, people are coming to you with some sort of heavy responsibility and it's just like what like i'm just learning something and i'm saying just learning because it's only two one we go from the ace of wands to the two of wands so the ace is a new beginning of something and the two is just kind of you know getting started um and moving forward with something. So it's still kind of like a new energy. So I'm feeling like even though this is new energy, you're being asked um, or giving some sort of responsibility or people are looking to you to make some sort of uh, decision, like you're being looked up as a leader. So it's almost, I almost want to say like you started a new position and all of a sudden you do so well that they ask you to be like a leader some type of way like oh you want to be the team lead or you want to be a manager i think we should move you up so i'm feeling like there's something going on in your response uh with your responsibilities in regards to work um but you're being motivated people are saying you can do this it's going to be okay um but still, you know, it's like a heavy responsibility. Also, I'm seeing this as it's still moving forward regardless. Like someone is taking action to, to move forward with something. But because we do have the Eight of Cups, someone might be walking away from an opportunity. Um or walking away from something here. Um, maybe it's feeling like your needs aren't being met or this isn't what you wanted or something isn't living up to your expectations. So you're turning away, you're turning your back on something, but it's like something is getting ready to erupt. Like emotions are getting ready to erupt here. Um, I feel like someone is trying to hide or cover up their emotions, whether it's you or another person. 
Um, so it could be that someone is acting passive aggressively, but you know, that passive aggressive behavior, it, like I said, it, it just really kind of comes out all at once. Someone is making an offering here. Someone is trying to pour their heart out here with the Ace of, I mean, with the Knight of Cups. Someone is opening up. Someone's going to open up out of the blue. Now, it could be, too, talking about someone walking away from a, a past opportunity. Like, there was an opportunity to connect with someone that you had chemistry with. And either you or them decided to walk away from that but now it's like why did I do that because I'm feeling like there's a a change going on here a transformation or maybe someone was just going through something personally um but we have the like I said we have that the tower is coming out which is going to be a sudden ending or sudden shift in the dynamics of something here. Uh, whatever direction, like say for instance, you were trying to avoid a connection for whatever reason. Let's just say this is about a connection that you have with someone. And it's like, oh, you know, we're both attracted to each other. We're both on the same page. This should be a good match. We have a lot of chemistry together. But for whatever reason, you decided to walk away or they decided to walk away. Um, and they're like, no, I don't want it. I don't want this connection. Um, and then this is kind of like to me the universe intervening and saying no this isn't a cho that wasn't a choice i aligned you with this person for a reason so whatever direction you're trying to to walk you're you know you're trying to walk away from them that choice you made that's not the choice that you know you get to make now we're stepping in because we gave you a clear yes and you walked away from it so now we're walking in and you're forced to deal with this person or this situation you don't get to walk away i feel like this is what the universe is saying um because you're getting ready to make I almost want to say you're getting ready, ready to make the, the wrong decision. Don't get me wrong. I believe in free will to a certain extent. I don't know what your belief is on free will. I believe we do have free will to a certain extent. What, so whatever way you chose to use your free will, the universe is like, mm-mm, like that wrong. And it's coming in and and make, wreaking havoc for whatever direction you were going in. I mean, this can be something as simple as you saying, being determined to uh, go to the store and it's like, no, it's raining out there. You know, you might get into an accident or something. And it's like, no, no, I'm going to go to the store. And you get in your car and now it won't start. It's like, that was the universe. Like I said, no, because you're about to make a mistake. Um... This can be you, maybe you're like, you know what, this job isn't for me, or because they trying to put you in a higher position, you're like, uh-uh, let me leave this job. I came here to just blend in. I didn't come here to be manager. And this is the universe saying, uh-uh, you're not walking away from this opportunity. This is, you need to do this. So with that is going to come, you know, either some sort of financial wealth or some sort of stability. Uh, is is coming into your life whether you like it or not this can either be a stable person this could be a stable career it can be um stable income it's trying the universe wants you to have stability so it's not allowing you to reroute or detour it's just like uh-uh you can't no that's not happening um, also, I'm seeing this as someone coming out of the blue and expressing how they feel about you. Like you weren't expecting them to have these feelings for you or you are expressing how you feel and someone wasn't expecting that. Uh, also, for some of you, you could be dealing with the uh, Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Uh, whatever the case, I'm feeling like it's slow moving energy or this person is very practical. Um, 
But you see, you guys, I, I'm getting like a mixed signal here, and I'm trying to figure out what that is. Um, let me clarify this tower. I'm also seeing a tower as an alarm. I don't know. It's a warning or an alarm or a red flag, but like literally an alarm. So like almost like a fire drill. If you work at a place where there are fire drills, so like if you're a teacher, it's something about a fire drill going off. Some sort of distraction or disturbance is going to bring a person into your life here. Okay, so I have the tower clarified by the Ten of Swords. This is also making me feel like, again, you're being cut off from whatever path that you were on. It's a dead end. It's saying no. I just feel like the universe is saying no, not this way. So we had to stop you in your tracks. I'm also feeling like for some of you, you might be ending communication with somebody. Um, or cutting off like the if you don't do it the universe does it um, especially if you were in a situation where you had two choices like you didn't know if you wanted this person or that person and you're like okay I, I, I choose this person for whatever reason because you felt like maybe this was the one or this is the person that fulfills you and the universe is saying, eh, wrong, nope, that's not the one you were supposed to choose. Go with the other person. So the universe is, I, I just feel like it's not in alignment with your choice. There is a disagreement between your choice and what the universe wants for you. Um, here, um, the, I'm also getting a double message as either you decide to end things with a fire sign. If you're not dealing with a fire sign, Let's change this around a little bit. Let's just say that you were de you were dealing with someone and they were dealing with you and another person and they were like, you know what? I like our chemistry, but I want to move forward with this other person. I feel like the universe is going to intervene and say, no, I'm, I want you to be with Libra. You're, and I say that because the word Libra is watching and I'm trying to make it so that you understand how I'm switching a story. So it's almost like the other person, they decided not to move forward with you. They wanted to move forward with fire. Um, and the universe is like, no, end things with fire, go forward with Libra. Um, cut things off. So I feel like the universe is going to cut something off. Now also I'm seeing this as a storm coming for some of you. A literal storm and your um, your elect your electricity is going to get shut off by it mm. see somebody is trying to you're trying to go against what the universe wants you to do or somebody dealing with you is trying to go against what's happening They don't want to do it. They don't want to listen to the universe or you don't want to listen to the universe. Is somebody in regards to love is somebody that, you know, wants to that um, is torn between you and another person and they're trying to choose the other person and the universe is not going to let it happen. Um, if this I mean, say it can apply to you, too, if it's your job, like, you know, if you're trying to walk away from the job, the universe isn't going to let it happen. So the universe says no. OK, so uh, I hope that resonated. Uh, if you want a private reading, you can email Tamaj 70, I'm um, Tamaj, Tamaj Tarot at Gmail dot com. Um, anyway, just check the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments. Thank you all for watching and many blessings to you.